Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a treat for y'all today. Looking at uh, purchasing this old Ford 8N tractor. I believe it's a 1953 um, 8N. Uh, you can tell it's been sitting here for a while. I believe it's been sitting here since 2012. That's what I think the guy said. Uh, 10, 14 years, something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Um, let's check this thing out. Gas tanks in here. Let's see what it's got for gas. It's got anything at all. Uh, no gas, but it looks pretty clean in there. No rust or anything. The story on this thing is he says it needs a carburetor kit. Um, that I don't know, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plugs out, um, <clears throat> check the radiator, fill it up, and um, see if we can maybe get this thing to fire over. This tire is definitely gonna need probably need a new tire here. It's flat. This one's holding there good. This one is gonna need replaced. So, um, but yeah, brought a couple tools with me. So let's uh, let's see if we can get to work on this old old beast. Let's see if this tire takes any air. Well, I was very surprised, but all these tires took air. Let's see what it's got for coolant. It's got coolant in there. It's a hair low, but it's not bad. It looks fairly clean. I don't know, guys. Y'all yeah, check out this barn. This thing is severely leaning to the right. <laughs> Man, it's almost scary working in here. There's all kinds of cool stuff around here. Uh, the guy that owns this place found this old mortar shell. 105 millimeter M14, 1971 mortar shell. Guy just gave it to me. So take it with you. Pretty cool. I wonder if this thing's solid copper or brass. That's what it looks like. Alright, let's get to work on the tractor. Let's see what we got for transmission oil. Eh, it's okay, it's a little thick, but it's okay. Take the engine oil here. It's good oil. Looks like it's okay also. Watch your eyes. See if I can get these spark plugs out. Mm. 
definitely use some cleaning. I mean, they're not horrible or anything. A little dirty, but what do you expect? Grabbed every other socket out of there in this one. Oh, looks like about the same as the others. The guy said this thing ran great and for some reason he put a carburetor rebuild kit in it and he was driving it and I guess he said it wouldn't crank up or something. I don't I don't know exactly what he said, but it was something along those lines. Be something as simple as just a coil i'm gonna check for spark here if i can get the engine to spin over i think the starter might be locked up i can move the engine over by hand whenever i press the starter it just kind of yeah that's a really close gap on these things i wonder if it's supposed to have that close of a gap Let's see what it does Let's see it's just Crank the juice up a little bit. Nope. That's 200 amps and it's not doing anything. Let's take a look at the starter here. I can spin the engine over and it spins over fine. It hits the radiator a little bit. Motor spins over great though. oil filter looks like It doesn't look bad. I don't see any metal shavings or anything. Actually, it looks really good in there. He wanted three thousand dollars for his tractor. Um, then I guess nobody was interested in it. And then he said he'd take fifteen hundred, or he came down to fifteen hundred, then a thousand. I think he's stuck at a thousand. But I'm gonna see if he'll, uh, I'm gonna see if he'll do it for like seven hundred. I mean, without. All right, what do you guys think? It's probably like a five, seven hundred. I don't know. I mean, it. The engine to me looks okay. But it's hard to say.
load it up. Alright guys, we got the tractor back over here at the shed. Um, I couldn't do much more over there at the barn. Um, it was just too far away and with the starter being locked up like it was, um, I couldn't really do much. But um, we got it back over here. Um, we're going to go ahead and start working on it. Uh, we got some parts. Got a shop manual, oil, uh, gear lube, a new battery, some filters, oil pressure gauge, stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off here. Uh, the tires are still holding there, which is amazing. This is a 6 volt system, so um, it's not being converted to, to 12 volts. Um, I got some bumpers here for it. Pretty beefy bumper right there. Thanks, heavy. So let's go ahead and get to work on this thing. See what we got here. Notice one thing. Looks like somebody tried to epoxy this back in here. A little overflow vent. I could probably braze or solder that on. No big deal. Coolant looks good in there. The radiator is so so. I don't see any leaks. Um Let's get this battery disconnected and uh, pulled out of here. So on this tractor, the positive is actually the ground. Or what I mean is, the wire coming from the frame goes on the positive. And uh, like I said, this is a six volt system here. Still got the original copper ground on there. Brass, whatever it is.
you guys I got the battery installed and uh just for uh shits and giggles let's uh let's see if it's it's turned over or anything oh wow no way when I was at the barn <laughs> the thing was like locked up or something I don't know if moving around or changing the battery or what um I even tried jumping it off with the other six volt battery and it, it wouldn't work but I, I don't know Maybe just messing around with it or getting, maybe there was too much corrosion and it wasn't getting enough power through it. Okay, well, um, that's a good sign. Let's get this gas tank hooked up or get this carburetor off and clean it out and see when we get some gas going to it. Or you know what, let's, uh, let's shoot some, uh, starting fluid down the intake, see if this thing pops off. Let's check this thing out first. This thing is looking like. Well, that looks fairly clean. Clean enough, at least, right now. So, can anyone in the comments tell me what this thing is? Before I tell you, post in the comments if you know. This is a spark plug sand blaster. And this is how it works. What you do is you take your spark plug, it's all dirty, you stick it right there in that rubber part. And you take your air hose, stick it right there, and then you, and it literally sand blasts the end of the uh, spark plug. See how clean that is now? Pretty neat. I'm gonna do this to all the plugs. Now you see how clean those are? Make sure you use some compressed air and blow them out, and then I take some brake clean after and clean them. All right, so I'm going to spin this engine over, and uh, I'm going to look at these uh, these valves in here. Make sure none of these valves are locked up or stuck. fans touching a little bit right here looks like they're all opening though all right I'm gonna do a compression test here um, I've checked these two cylinders um, they're both the same this one's pretty low it's only at like 60 something minimum in the book says 90 so, uh, the other two were 90. I know this engine hasn't been started and it's not warmed up or anything, so I'm sure if I get it running, that the compression will go up. But, um, let's go ahead and check this cylinder. Okay, so that's right about 88 or so. So the lowest one, they bought, they're all about 88 to 90, except for this one. Um, but they do have a ton of like, you put your thumb over it, it's, they got a bunch. See? You can feel a ton of pressure on there, so, I don't know. We'll see. Look, worst comes to worst, it's probably going to need some new piston rings. The guy said it wasn't smoking or anything, so I don't, I don't know unless it's got all the valves are opening. So I don't know. We'll see. All right, before we get too hit, <clears throat> before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's go ahead and check for some spark. Alright, 
Here goes nothing. Yes, Alright, awesome. I can't believe it, man. After all these years. Still got spark. Uh, let's just test this one also. Let's see what we're looking like. Yeah, I think we got spark on that too. Awesome. Let's uh let's get this car bow. Some crud in it. Looks like the float seized up in there. Oh, let's get this thing cleaned up. gasket off. I might have to make me a new gasket. I can go buy one, but I think I can make one, no problem. Looks like the float's floating. some gasket material here. Just gonna draw it out. Alright, I think that's it. Cut that out. stuff in here and it's got this little thing that punches holes in it. I'll finish cutting this out. 
and there's your one perfectly made gasket that matches the original. Alright, we got all the parts cleaned up. Blow them out with some compressed air here. Hey guys, excuse the noise, it's raining pretty good outside. Um, so I got the carburetor installed and I filled filled the bullet with fuel and everything. Tried turning over and I can't get it to pop or anything. Um, I was thinking maybe the timing's off or whatnot, but I believe the timing is correct. So, number one cylinder is right here. Um, you know, the point's pointing right to it, so it fires right when it's on the compression stroke here. On the timing, I'm not exactly sure how to time these things, but, um, you know, if somebody's got, could let me know exactly how to time them, that would be great. But as I spin, the uh, engine over sorry it's kind of hard to see in there um, okay so the engine is at zero degrees I don't know if you can see in there it's on zero degrees um, this is where the distributor is at and um, the cap right here you see this is your number one cylinder number one cylinder is right here and that's on and that's where your uh, uh, pointer whatever thing is and it's both valves are closed on the compression stroke I think it's in time if this doesn't sound right to any of you guys let me know I'm not that great with timing tractors first time I've ever worked on one so um, but I can't get it to, to do anything. It, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. It's getting fuel because the uh, spark plugs have fuel on them as I was turning them over. So it's sucking fuel in. It's just not popping off or anything. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the compression's too low on it. I have no idea. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, so this is going to be it for the part one of this video and part two, I'm going to go ahead and take the oil pan off and, um, inspect under there and see if, um, see if it needs piston rings or something going on with the oil pump. Uh, I know the pickup tubes can be cracked, which allow a loss of oil pressure and that could, um, burn the rings, you know, burn the rings and everything up. So if that's the case, then I'm going to go ahead and do a, a you know a little rebuild on it and that will be in part two so uh look out for that video but like i said if you got any ideas on what could be causing it um this engine hasn't ran in like it's been 17 years or so the guy said it ran great he put a new carb kit in it and it ran a little bit after that and then it, he said it stopped running or something i don't really know i don't think he really knew either but um if you have any idea what what could be causing a loss of compression other than piston rings or valves sticking i don't think there's any valves sticking they look all close you know open and closing totally fine um i don't see any like blue smoke or like carbon deposits in the exhaust which would uh you know indicate it's smoking also i didn't see a ton of like oil on the spark plugs or anything like that so I don't, it doesn't look like it was smoking or anything, but who knows, it's been sitting a while, so. Anyway, um, look out for part two on this, and I'll...
see you guys then. Take care.